this flight hang video. Today we're tying an extended body mayfly. So we'll start by making the extended body. And in the vise I have a needle and I usually put some wax on. It's easier to pull off the body when it's finished. And the thread I'm using is Unifred 8 out in 10. And we start by putting down some thread at the end of the needle and for the tail I use microfibbets in dark brown so as for the naturals I use three tails and I try to align them as much as possible and then the length should be or the body will be the length of the tails and a little trick is to burn the ends so that they stay together this will prevent them from being pulled out or they will never they will always stay aligned should I say and there we we'll touch them <coughs> just at the end of the needle and to make the body itself I use some closed cell foam 2mm in tan and to do this you have to cut it so it's tapering down to the middle so it's a little thinner in the middle and tapering out to the ends and then just cut the foam at an angle now we come with the foam from the underside and make three turns to secure then two turns on to the needle and then we make the second segment three turns as before then under, two turns onto the needle, then three to make a segment, and you want the segments to become slightly bigger for each time. Three on top, then under two onto the needle and you do this till you have a body that's the right length and there I think it's enough so you just with finish, three turns is enough, and then you cut off, leaving a rest piece a little shorter than the other one. Or I do this to remember which one is which. And now you grab the body. And you pull it off the needle now you can pull on the longer thread and this will 
give the curve to the body. And there's your body. And if you want, you can put some glue to make the tails stand out in like this. And I usually use bug bond to do this. Now the tails are in place. This one I will color it in brown. So there's the body colored and all this detail is not necessary but I like to put in some detail. There's the body finished for our mayfly and we'll move on to tie the rest of the fly. And now we'll tie the fly itself. In the hook I have a grub hook size 14 and the thread is the same thread. Uni eight out in ten and we start by taking down the thread to the barb of the hook and there we'll tie in our body Tie it in where the at the last segment some tight turns to secure. Now we can pull on the longer thread that we left in order to curve the body. And now Secure the ends so that the body doesn't move and cut off the rest piece. And there's the body attached to the hook. Now we'll just make one more segment out of these this foam just a little bigger than the last one and there we have our segment secured and now we can cut off the foam just pull and cut and then pull a little more and cut and pull There's a body attached attached to the hook. Now for the thorax, I'll use a mix between dark brown and tan dubbing. And this dubbing is the life cycle dubbing from Wapsi. It's a really good dubbing with it's a mix between synthetic and natural. So it has this little sparkle to it and some longer hairs to represent legs. And we want to dub on quite a bit of dubbing it will then be brushed out so don't make it too small then you'll have nothing left when it's brushed there now I'll add some legs and here I have um, a used partridge feather and that's ideal has this fibers on both sides so I just put it at the length that I want and then 
tie it in and there are the legs so and now we can brush out the dubbing and mix it with the feather fibers and for the wing I use some natural deer hair just cut off a bunch so you don't want it to be too heavy remove the under fluff Too much, I think. Yep, there we have it. And in the stacker, now the tips are nicely aligned, and the length should be about the length of the body. So loose turns and then put some pressure on the thread and go through the ends and now we can cut off the ends Try not to cut off the legs or the wing. And now some more turns to tidy up in front. And there we have the wing. Now for the head and to finish off the fly, I use the same dubbing mix as before, tan and dark brown of this life cycle dubbing. This to be quite heavy as well because we're going to brush out this one too I'm trying to make a taper there now I'll just whip finish and then you can add some glue if you want. I usually do it for security. So some glue onto the dubbing needle and then onto the thread wraps. And then we'll just brush out the dubbing and mix it with the legs. And there's an extended body mayfly.